welcome back to the rave.com. My name is Jim Tyndall. I am sitting here with Destroy, Rebuild, Until God Shows. Correct? Correct. Drugs. Drugs. All right, why don't you uh, introduce yourself for those who don't know. I'm, I'm Matt, and uh, I play guitar. I'm Aaron, and I play drums. Cool. We got, like, an email from someone saying that we weren't supposed to call you drugs. Oh. Like, we're not supposed to put it on the website. Oh, no, no, that uh, that was a temporary thing. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah no, it's that fine now. That was me. I was just testing you. You were just, oh, okay. Because yeah. I thought maybe it was, like, a internet filter thing. Like, you don't want kids searching for drugs online or something like that if they're looking for the band. I mean, you know... We knew what we were asking for mm -hmm. when, we, when we took the name, so uh, we really don't mind it. I can just imagine a kid coming home from school and their parents sitting there at the table like, Tommy, sit down for a second. <laughs> um, looked on the internet history, and we saw that you were looking for draw. I don't know. <laughs> so I mean, you know, uh, it's fine, right? It's Actually, it's funny because uh, on this tour, before we play, a lot of nights, kids have been randomly chanting... And it's weird because they always chant the same thing, and no one, I don't know why. It's uh -huh. like, maybe it's a coincidence, but they always say, we want drugs. Yeah. And it's pretty funny. Well, who doesn't, right? <laughs> it's just funny to hear that. Like, <laughs> oh, there's a bunch of people screaming, we want drugs. Yeah, it might take a little bit to get used to. Yeah. But it's better than going, we want D-R-U-G-S, the acronym. I don't know. You're on the AP tour. How long you been on out on the road for these with these guys? What is it, like two, two and a half weeks? It's 18 days. Okay, yeah. cool. So you got about a month or so left in the tour, is that right? Yeah. Yeah. Where are you guys going afterwards? We basically have to go to the whole East Coast still. Oh, cool. Um, finishing out the East Coast, going down to Florida, where Matt's mm -hmm. originally from. Nice. Mm -hmm. And then uh, and then we'll see. We're on the, this summer's Warp Tour, which we're really looking forward to. Awesome. It's been a few years since we've been. Uh, any of us have been out there. Okay. Uh, and then some overseas stuff going down. Do you guys just get back from the UK? Did I read that right? Or yeah. Yeah. How was that? Yeah. Awesome. Uh, it was about what, like, uh, sorry, it was about a week long, and um, all the shows were really great. Kids came out and they were super stoked, and the, you know, the feedback was unbelievable. Cool. And we definitely are trying to go there again very soon because we want to build up our following there as well. Yeah, were you playing like smaller places there, or about the same size as in the states, or? Yeah, it was. Well, we definitely wanted to fill out the the small rooms, so it was like 200 mm -hmm. to 500 cap rooms, and you know, mo most of them did sell out, so cool. it was, it was yeah. a good time. Nice. New video just came out today, today. April 6th, yeah. right? Sex Life. Tell me about shooting that video. Looked like it was a lot of fun. In a basement somewhere. Yeah, it was a blast. I mean, Craig, our singer, just really wanted to, you know, go back and sit and, and do a video that was basically a big house party. Yeah. And the, with us performing in the basement. So that's what we did. And literally, that's what it was. We just got a bunch of our friends to come out, hang out, partied all day, and then, you know, Shot a bunch of stuff. There's a lot of red solo cups in the video. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are yeah. empty. Those are fake. There's oh, no, there was on. nothing in them. Maybe. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> sure, they're fake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're all fake. Cool. You guys are... What you said. All from different bands before you got together with drugs. Is that right? Story of the year, Matchbox, Matchbook Romance. Is that right? Matchbox. You yourself. Yeah. 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 There you go. I was trying to read that thing, and I was like, wait, I don't know what that said. So did you guys kind of take, like, the best probably the best parts of each band kind of mixing and matching or kind of what was the how did you guys all join forces with your powers combined well it wasn't it wasn't really like a premeditated like oh we want to combine all these bands kind mm -hmm. of thing it was more so like craig just wanted people that he could rely on that he would feel comfortable with on tour and people that know what they're doing good and you know you know he met all of us through you know various means he met aaron through management i believe and nick was his friend of a while and I knew him, and I actually, you know, got together with him through Twitter, and Adam was uh, through John Feldman, our producer. So, like, it was just kind of, like, actually a coincidence, I mean, that, you know, all these bands are kind of similar in nature, mm -hmm. and I guess, you know, everything happens for a reason, I yeah. guess, right? And it just made a lot of sense, and it's working out really well, so nice. I'm pretty stoked. Cool. Uh, self-titled album, or self-titled debut album. How long has it been out? That's it. Right that there. is it right there. Beautiful. Very, very beautiful. Only been about out about five weeks yeah. now. Yeah, we're really proud of uh, how it's been received so far. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is is a record we recorded with producer John Feldman, who's like you know, kind of a hero to us to some extent. And yeah. we went and did it this past summer, and it's it's the you know collaboration of all of us. And it, it, I don't know, it's it's we love it. <laughs> it's got a lot of good response. It debuted number one on the rock charts. If that's right. Yeah. Yeah. It did it? That's cool. Yeah. For my research that I did, yeah, I don't, I don't know what chart that was. But I have this terrible habit of uh, like when I read emails that I get from management, I like I'll just be like, "Good, 
something, a number, cool. <laughs> and then that's all I see. I'm just like, all right, move on. Cool. So what's next? You guys are touring, touring. Any time off in the coming year, month? If we're lucky. And if you're lucky, cool. Yeah, pretty much at this point. It's like, I mean, but, you know, it's what you got to do. Yeah. Like, the world of rock music is based off touring, as I'm sure everyone mm-hmm. realizes. That's why there's bands playing all the time. So the more... We tour, the better off we'll be. Yeah, we're all thankful to be busy this year, though. I mean, to be in support of this record that we love so much and we work so hard right. on, and for have you know, each of us have kind of been off a little bit before this, and to now be able to have another opportunity to go after it and perform and do what we love is, you know, we we're thankful to be able to do any sort of touring, and yeah. we're looking forward to doing tons of it. Even if you got home like a couple days staying at home, you're gonna want to get back out on the road. Oh yeah, the it's it's yeah the itch. It's like the yeah, uh, it's actually like um. It's like the first like four or five days you're like, man, this rules. But then, like a couple of days go by and you're like, man, I am bored. <laughs> it's weird because like you you get home and it's like, oh wow, it's like you always want you can't have kind of thing. Like you're mm-hmm. like, oh, I can just sit here all day. Yeah, I can play right. all the video games I want. I can do it. But man, it gets it really does. It gets old pretty quick. And then you're like, all right, I'm I'm ready. Mm-hmm. Let's go back and do something. Nice. All right, well, I just wanted to congratulate you guys on all the success. The new album's awesome. You're playing, you're touring the world. Anything else you want to say before we go? Thank you very much. Yeah, just uh, pick up our record, this one, with the spider lady on it. Um, Thanks to anyone who has already picked it up and is spinning it right now and coming out to our shows, coming out to more of our shows, and see you this summer on Warp Tour. And And check out our new video. And vote, oh, yeah. vote for Sex Life on your local rock radio station. Yes. I request it. Awesome. All right. Thank you guys so much. You can check them out more at thisisdrugs.com. And for the rave.com, I'm Jim Tyndall, and we'll see you next time.